welcome to video number 20 and I'm really sorry I actually I forgot to cover one topic you know in the past but when now the time has come that I need uh, to create a parameter based report but actually it requires a stored procedure so I'm gonna cover this topic very quickly instead of going to 7 I'm gonna start with 6 how do you create a report using a stored procedure so far what we have seen is like using a query designer you are we are querying through the table and we're getting the data out right so how can we do that so let's go here quickly and uh, uh, I'm gonna close this thing and uh, I'm gonna right click on reports I'm gonna say right click add new report and I'm gonna say report and I'm gonna say this report is going to be fire so I don't care we are just doing the demo right and we are writing gonna write a store procedure right so I'm gonna call this guy as store proc and we are going to use a connection and we are going to use a data source but I'm going to use this data source so I'm going to use a shared one the shared one you are seeing on the right I'm sorry on your right and then you say ok and then you get back to the query designer now you will say hey you are going back to query designer yeah because I'm lazy and I want to create a store procedure so what type of store procedure we are looking at we are looking at the store procedure who will give me the categories and who will give me the products ok so this is I don't know what are you talking about so I want to see the product name category name I want to see uh, unit and unit per price and quantity per unit so this is all I want to see and let's execute and so you are getting 77 records right and if you want uh, then you can do the group by if you like uh, nah, we not gonna all right let's do it add a group by and we, no no just remove it just keep it simple or you'll get confused so I'm gonna delete this line and <coughs> I'm gonna execute it again so I'm getting a 77 record so here's our stroke procedure control a control C so I have copied this thing and that's time now for us to go to store procedure <coughs> So here's my north wind in the tables you find tables and this is a query window you where you find your queries. So what I want you to do is I want you to create a store procedure. That store procedure will do the same job what you just saw in here. So I'm gonna call this guy as uh, uh, and get all products and category names okay and I'm not passing any parameter reports for now so I'm gonna take this guy out alright so I don't need this guy I don't I just would like to keep the things as simple this is a place where I write the query and I'm gonna simply paste alright paste and and it looks pretty nice so let's have a look what I have done from begin so it was pretty simple right we what we did is like you know just simply create a, creating a store procedure we are giving it a name and over here we are writing a query so let me try control kd and it doesn't work so sad so basically uh, what query whatever you saw on the query designer I got the same query and it's the same so um, what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna hit an F5 when I do the F5 it is going to create a store procedure for me F5 alright on the right hand side right now you're not able to view it so right click and I'm going to do the refresh so now you can see get all products and category names pretty simple huh plus on that and try to see if it supplies any parameters so it does not supply any parameters it simply returns an integer so I'm I'm going to right click and I'm simply going to execute this store procedure and I get some window I hit say ok and I get 77 rows back alright I'm getting 78 rows here so how come this guy I'm sorry Visual Studio was giving me 77 1 of 77 1 of 77 and what about the SQL and this guy is giving me like 78 rows alright 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 so it's 1 till 77 alright and considering the first one so 77 rows are the here right okay so we all good so we know how to create a store procedure and now we're going to use this store procedure right 
so we'll come back here and we're going to delete this thing we don't know want this thing are you sure yes we don't want this changes I instead I want to use a store procedure so what is your store procedure alright so you can see this is what we made right so click on it and refresh the fields for I don't know refresh generally it does like you know it tries to get you the things and simply hit ok the moment you hit ok it knows what are the things you have queried for like remember this is this was the selection what we did this is the data source now get back to the toolbox let's simply add a table in here and go to reports add a product name then category name I'm sorry we should have added category name first product name second then the unit price and the quantity per unit so this is cool select the first row give a gully color so that gully color has to be light pinkish or magenta I don't know what is it plum yeah looks nice and let's preview this alright so this is what you are getting in the SQL while executing but the same thing you're getting here right so this is pretty cool so now we have learned how can you create a store procedure and you can use that store procedure in this reporting service and using which you know you can generate a report so this is cool right and if you want to you know modify this thing so you can go back to query as you can see this is a store procedure right so you can execute the store procedure if you like or you can go to the property and you can see like what you have you chosen if you want to choose back to text you can choose it back right so there's no stopping by <coughs> so I hope this video gives you an idea how can you use the store procedure to generate a report right so if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video thank